Uh, are you or someone in your family planning to take their education to a higher level? Well, there's a new option in downtown Mesa offering a variety of academic programs. Here to tell us about it, a senior administrator at Benedictine University, Joe Wilson. Thank you. Welcome. We appreciate you. you. Nice to be here. Oh, it's wonderful to have you because this is the first Catholic university uh, of its kind here in the Valley. Correct. We're the first uh, full-fledged camp, uh, campus a Catholic university to come to town, and we're really excited about that. And it offers a variety of programs. Mm -hmm. So what can folks expect? Well, Benedictine University will, it comes out of the Lyle campus, which is in the Chicago area, and we're going to bring out here the same campus we have that, complete with athletics, programs, everything. We have seven programs we're starting with. We'll expand it to many more. Uh, so there's a wide variety. Even if a student doesn't know what, what they want to study, uh, an undecided major can start. Most students don't know when they start college anyway <laughs> what true. they want to study. That's true. And then they change once they do. So yeah. they have that opportunity. And, and a very diverse campus you have. It's not just for Catholic students. Students. Very much so. About 50% of the students are Catholic, but at our Lyle campus, about 20% of the students are Muslim. Uh, one of the Benedictine values is diversity and understanding and living with people of a variety of backgrounds. So we teach that. And uh, Benedictine is accepting applications uh, for freshmen and transfers. Correct. Who will yes. be coming in? With this fall, we'll start our first classes, and we're now accepting the applications both for, uh, for freshmen and for our transfer students. And it's wonderful because the Benedictine uh, University, the Mesa campus, has seven majors. Uh, and uh -huh. one minor. Uh -huh. And I like this because it's a lecture free yeah. type of environment. Explain what that means. Right. It is really the new the, uh, curriculum of the 21st century. And when you are an established campus, it's very hard to turn around a semi truck. Mm -hmm. But when you are a new campus, you can start from beginning. So we will have no lectures. It will be problem based. Students will, uh, we're going to have classrooms that are going to have soft furniture. Students can sit around. They will be given problems to explore and to look at. Doesn't mean there won't be lectures available, but it'll all be with computers online uh, electronically. So the uh, student has an opportunity to still gain that information through that resource. We're going to use all e-books, so it's uh, high tech and uh, the uh, state of the art when it comes to new technology. And you are really tapping into the freshman generation. Yes. All about social media, <laughs> Absolutely. all about social engagement uh -huh. online. What a smart idea. Yeah. Right. If you look at the freshmen uh, that are coming into us, we had a group of men the other day, and except for the fact that their faculty member told them they had to put away their <laughs> iPhones, uh, we would have had many there on it, but that's right. a generation, right? Yeah. Yeah, and it's a generation that you have to speak mm -hmm. to. We want to get the, you know, these folks into college, and this might be a, mm -hmm. a wonderful alternative. And Benedictine University uh, at Mesa, a very strong partnership with the city. This is, it actually was the mayor's agenda, and the mayor decided that uh, you know we're a community, and particularly the valley, but Mesa in particular, that has very few options for higher ed, and there are very few private, uh, small liberal arts colleges. And so this was a city initiative to bring them in. There are actually four coming to downtown Mesa, and with the idea of revitalizing downtown. The I would predict that in 10 to 15 years from now, you will see downtown Mesa to be just vibrant with uh, college students and college life and all kind of activity. And that was his agenda. Yeah, and we're talking about renovating, what, a 65,000 square foot facility. Correct. It was the original hospital in Mesa, and that will be our campus. Wow, mm -hmm. what a what an exciting yeah. time for, yeah. for even those businesses that are already in downtown. Because you get a college student, you've got to yeah. have restaurants, you got to have coffee exactly. shops. Uh -huh. So you're talking about an economic boost here. And that's really what's the old agenda for this was economic development, um, but the mayor also has an educational background. His father was superintendent of public schools in Mesa for years, and so he understands the importance of education. That to have a economically thriving town, you have to have a workforce that will provide that resources and to pull people in. So that was his reason behind well, this. Well, this is a wonderful opportunity for uh -huh. those who are considering higher right. education. This might be a great alternative yeah. for them, and if you would like more information, you can find a Benedictine mm -hmm. University at Mesa. They're located at 51 East. East Main Street, Suite 105, that is in downtown Mesa. You can call the campus at 602-888-5500 or visit them online at ben, ben .edu Mesa. Thank you so much, Joe. Well, thank you. It's a pleasure you. to be here.